Hi everyone, welcome back. We are discussing the Cricut Easy Press mat today. I'm really excited about this mat. I know I did a video that touched on it the other day, but I now have more information and I wanted to share it with you. The design behind this Easy Press mat is absolutely amazing. This was made specifically to go with your Cricut Easy Press. And once I get into the details, you're gonna understand why. Some of the basic information you need to know right off the bat is this mat is 12 by 12. I've had some people asking, so compared to the Cricut Easy Press, there's your size difference. This is how it comes in the store. You're going to be able to pick these up in the various box stores. You can also get it on the Cricut website. I've got a link in the description below this video. It retails for $24.99. And let's turn this over. This is the packaging that it comes in. It'll come with a plastic cover over it and it's probably going to be hanging in your store by this plastic hook, but that slides right off. So let's go through the construction of the mat itself. Now the mat itself is made up of specific layers. Cricut really took a lot of time designing this. It has a durable cover, which is the part that you see, this gray part, and it's sort of uh, almost like an ironing board cover material, sort of. But then the next layer is a layer specially designed to wick moisture. That's going to pull the moisture out of your fabric or out of whatever surface you're pressing on. It's going to remove the moisture. It's made to remove the moisture. And then underneath that you have a reflective heat layer. Now that reflective heat layer is going to bounce the heat back up into the press and therefore back up into your garment instead of going through to your surface. And then we have an insulated layer and that's the cushiony part that you feel inside this um, easy press mat. And then there's a protect protective barrier. So now that we know what's inside of this, let me show you. This is the mat. It's flexible. It's got a back side. This side goes down. Now it's important that you get the right side down on your surface because this side is not going to get hot. All of the heat, there's that reflective layer inside, so all that heat's going to be pushed back up into the garment and away from your surface. So that's going to make your pressing experience even more brilliant. Now, because of the construction of this mat, they have now released new Cricut Easy Press settings specifically for use with this mat. And if you compare this settings chart to the prior settings chart, you're going to see these um, settings are maybe a little bit lower temp or a little bit shorter time. This is going to get very hot. They've also included on the new recommended settings list for both the old and the new. They've now got cold peel, cool or hot peel, warm peel, and a little bit more directions into each box. So I'll show you that in a second. You're going to notice when you go to the settings, again, you can get them at help.cricut.com forward slash easy press recommended settings. If that's too much to remember, just put easy press recommended settings in your Google search and you'll see it. It comes right up. But it is available on the Cricut website. We've also got it uploaded into the Cricut Facebook group. But you're going to notice there's now four pages to the settings. There's the easy press mat settings and the towel settings. I have printed mine on front and back. I like to laminate these. I haven't laminated this yet. I just print these off. But the Easy Press mat settings are for use with the Easy Press mat. So that goes with that. The ones that say towel settings, those are the ones you're going to use if you're using a towel as your protective bar barrier or you're using the Walmart pressing mats or the Target pressing mats that we were using at the beginning. Your Steady Betty, you're going to use these towel settings. This mat gets really hot. This mat reflects, like I said, it reflects that heat back up. So your time may be a little bit lighter or your temperature may be a little bit lower for your Easy Press mat. So make sure if you're using the Easy Press mat, you're using these settings. Or if you're using the other, a towel or another mat or the Steady Betty, that you're using these settings. You don't want to mix and match them. They are specific to what surface you're using. So that's why I wanted to come back and do another video. That's important information to know. Make sure you're using the right settings. Go, I'm sure you guys have already printed this off, but this is new on the website. So go print it. It gives you a lot more information. And they've also included the new, the new patterned iron-on, the Sport Flex. 
and the new iron-on designs settings are on here. So, and again, like just for instance, cotton iron-on setting is 340 for 30 seconds. Iron-on settings using the towel or another pressing surface is 340 for 50 seconds. So they've shaved 20 seconds off by using this mat. That's the difference in the technology behind this mat. So while I've got you here, we're gonna go ahead and use another one of the Cricut iron-on, new, re newly released iron-ons from, I got mine at Joann's. I will have some linked in the description below this video. But um, today we're going to use this one. These are iron-on designs. I love you to the moon and back and sweet dreams. They come just like this. I believe this was $4.99 before discounts. They were on sale when I bought this. So I am only going to use one half of this on this shirt for my granddaughter. So I'm just going to cut that off. And that's a great thing about these is you can get two projects, maybe three out of one iron-on packet. So I'm going to put that in here. Now when you get these, your instructions are right here inside the packaging, but they are also right here. And again, you want to check if you're using the new Easy Press mat, it might be different than what your packaging says. So here it says 340 for pre-press for five seconds, apply the iron on for 30 seconds, and then it says post heat after you put the iron on. You're going to post heat, leaving the liner on for 15 seconds. So this is totally got a lot more information than you used to have on your Easy Press recommended settings. So we're going to preheat for five seconds at 340. So I'll just hit the timer and we'll count down. I have it set for 30 seconds. So we'll count down to 25. There we go. So we preheated. I'm going to take my design, fold it in half, crease it just so I know where the half is. I have the EP shirt setting on top of the Easy Press mat. I have plenty of room. I don't have to worry about the Easy Press setting on my seams. And I'm going to move this down a little bit. Do three fingers on this shirt. That looks centered. All right, so our instructions tell us to apply for 30 seconds. We're going to put that back on. Hit the timer, 30 seconds. So I really like this new set of instructions. It gives you a lot more information. It tells you whether it's hot peel or cold peel, or, and that does make a difference. Uh, if you're pulling out, if you're doing foil and you're not getting that smooth finish, it's because you're probably pulling it up before it is cool. Foil needs to be cool. So pattern and print it need to be cool before you peel them. So our timer went off. Now it says post heat back, leave the liner on. So don't pull that off yet. I've seen several people doing videos where they're pulling that off and then heating it. Leave it on. And then we're going to do 15 seconds. So I'll let that count down to 15. Now you'll be surprised when we're all done. Let's see, we're almost at 15. Keep an eye on our timer here. Okay, so we're done. Now it says cold peel. So I'm going to move my shirt off to the side. This mat is extremely hot. I can't put my, well, I can put my hand. It's not, it's, it's hot. I wouldn't want to rest my hand down on there. But if you turn it over, this side is absolutely no heat. It is cool, just like it has never been touched. So my dust surface is absolutely safe. I no longer have to protect that and protect something else. There is, see this is already cooling down, so it's not like it's gonna stay hot, but it definitely reflects that heat back up into the garment instead of down through and out the backside of your project. So we're gonna let this continue to cool for just a second. I think we're good and we're going to release. And there we have it. Simple as that. We've got a super cute little shirt. It's perfectly applied 
and we used our new Easy Press recommended settings. So you guys, I really think even if you went out and bought the other pressing surfaces that we've used prior to this video, I do think this Cricut Easy Press mat is worth the investment. I do see a difference in how it presses. It's a great size. Um, I like that it's putting that heat back into my project instead of down through my desk or down through the surface. That way you know you're getting a good adhesion. It's melting the adhesive on the back of your patterns. And if you, know, if you don't wanna get the Easy Press mat, at least go make sure you're looking at the correct settings and get the updated list that has included the last three columns of Sport Flex, the pattern, and the iron-on designs. And it also includes a lot more information about whether to peel it warm, whether to peel it cold, whether to leave the transfer paper on or pull it off. So it gives you a lot more information on the new recommended settings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.